Okay, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this anime stylized looking terrain in Roblox Studio. So I'll be covering how to make the bushes or the clouds. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Blender. I'm going to leave a download link in the description. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 2.9. But if you're using a newer version, that's okay. It shouldn't be too different. Um, just I'm going to tell you to click on something. You just have to click on that. Try to find it if you're using a newer version. Anyways, let's start. So you're just going to delete everything here. And we're going to click Add Mesh and then UV sphere, and then do that again, add mesh UV sphere. Oh, I'm covering the screen, okay. So after you click on add mesh and then UV sphere twice, just rename one of the spheres. I'm gonna click on this up here and then just name it foliage. Now we're gonna click on the sphere up here and then go to particle properties and then click on this plus icon, change this to hair, make the hair length zero, and then make the number 210. Now we're going to click on render and change path to object. Now we're going to make the randomness scale to 0 0.5 and then select foliage. Click on the wrench icon, click add modifier, and then click on particle instance. Now you want to click on the eyedropper that's next to object and then select on the sphere. Now we're gonna have this, change, uh, just click on size, you don't have to change anything, just click on size, and then click on the sphere, and go to this particle properties icon. Now we're gonna increase the scale, and uh, we're gonna click on like the actual blob itself, make sure full is selected, and then right click and just click on shade smooth. Now that we have this, we're gonna turn on, we're gonna click on this eye thing next to foliage, click on the sphere, and then switch object mode into edit mode, right click anywhere, and click on subdivide, and do that one more time, right click and subdivide. Now let's change edit, change edit mode to sculpt, sculpt mode. Now I'm gonna click on this drag tool. And you're basically gonna change this to like the overall shape of your bush or your cloud. So I'm not gonna just do a boring looking sphere. I'm just gonna just change it a little bit. And again, just make it to the overall shape of your cloud or bush. And there you go. Again, you're basically like making the silhouette of the bush or the cloud um, or anything you're gonna use for this. But yeah, just make something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Just make it not boring and not a sphere. Anyways, now go back to switch sculpt mode into object mode. And then you can turn on the foliage. And you can see now it's a different shape. Before the blob was just a sphere, a circle. But now it's not. It's more interesting, which is what we want. Now we're going to turn off the sphere. So just click on the eye next to the sphere. Now select on the blob. And then click on this little tiny down arrow and click on statistics now we see the triangles is at 200k we need that to be under 10k in order to upload it to roblox studio so in order to do that we're gonna click on foliage click on this wrench icon and add modifier and we're gonna add decimate now just select on the on the ratio and change this number to 0 0.05 now you can see we're already at 10k i'm gonna do 0 0.05 Four. This basically just lessens the details so we have less triangles. Now we have AK, which is good. I know this doesn't look like a bush, but I promise you this is what it is, and this is what you saw at the at the start of the video. This is what it was. Okay, now that we have our blob and it's under AK triangles, next that we're gonna have to do is click add modifier within the wrench icon, add modifier, and then data transfer. Now we're going to scroll down, you can see source next to it is the eyedropper, click on that, and then click on sphere up here. Now click on face corner data, there's a or the check mark next to it, and then click on the arrow next to that, and click on custom normals. Now it says enable auto smooth, in order to do that click on this triangle, uh, normals, and then check mark auto smooth. Now you can see the lighting completely changed in the blob and it's much better. Now we're done. All you have to do is within the wrench icon, the arrows next, the tiny arrow right here next to each of the modifiers, just click on them and click on apply. So apply next to the particle and then 
and next to the decimate there's an arrow click on that apply and just do it for the rest apply now i'll select on sphere up here and press x just delete it because we don't need that anymore now we have the foliage all done and ready to be exported so click on file and then export it as a fbx now we're done with blender go back to roblox studio once you're here open up asset manager if you don't know how click on view and then asset manager is right here now click on this upload icon and just open what we just saved in blender click apply let that load and then it should be here just double click on it and then there it is now obviously this doesn't look like a cloud right away i'm going to be showing you how to edit the lighting within roblox studio in order for this to look like a cloud or a bush or whatever you're going to use for this okay so just click on lighting properties now the brightness uh you can put that at four and then this right here basically just how dark your shadows are going to be so drag this more to the left and their shadows are darker and again if you drag to the right the brighter it is i'm going to leave this at 0 0.5 and then this one is just how much of the like the surroundings affects your object so the surroundings is pretty blue so if i drag this it's more blue on the outer parts so i'm going to put that at 0 0.5 now I'm gonna make my cloud. I'm gonna do a cloud. So we're gonna make this white. I'm just gonna, you can also rotate this around and see what looks good. Cause in some angles it looks better. So I'm gonna rotate this, see it looks better. So like I like that more cause there's a shadow part here cause I rotated it. We're gonna make the shadow blue. So right now it's gray. I'm gonna show you how to make it blue. So lighting, properties, change, ambient uh, to blue and just drag that up. You can see now it's blue. I'm gonna make it like a teal blue. And there you go now it really looks like a cloud now the one i did for the tutorial it was really enclosed in you can try to make it so like when i said to like drag your sphere and make it like the overall shape make it really dragged out for this one i made it really dragged out and i got this nice looking shape this one i didn't really change as much for the tutorial but yeah make it really dragged out also another thing is you can size it out like over here if you size this out i get more shadows so if it's closed in, less shadows. Just drag them out so there's more. So now just duplicate these over and over next to each other to get a cloud. And there you go you can see like that looks like a cloud you really use this for like a background because that's where the clouds are usually going to be at the back so you can see that looks like a cloud and now you can use this to make even bigger builds so you can see the cloud back here i did exact same steps and got something like this you can also change the skybox to something that would match the clouds so for the bushes you would use the same model so the same mesh i'm just going to size it down but you would add one more thing to it to make its shape better so first of course you would just change the color to green a bush color and then you would make one of these within blender and just put them on the edge and make sure of course the same color so you just put them on the edges like that just to get its shape better and something like that is what i did in order to achieve what i had in the beginning of the video also while recording this i just realized my mouth tracking is not really good but anyways okay to one more thing with the lighting click on the plus next to lighting and then search up color correction right there click on it and then click on color correction properties and then we're just gonna i just think like the colors and the shadows are way too sharp so i'm just going to decrease the contrast to negative 0.15 and then i'm going to increase the brightness because it just got dark and then uh, i think the colors are too much so i'm going to decrease the saturation just a tiny bit with negative 0.5 now if i enable and uh, disable the color correction you can see this is just a bit more softer which is what I want, it's kind of the style I want to go for. So if you want to achieve something like this, just use color correction and use these numbers. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly make one of these. So just go back to Blender and then add mesh a plane. Click on UV editing, open, and you're going to have to open a texture I'll show. So you would have to get something like this, either draw it or just find it, but just a leaf texture. And then click on this icon right here, new, next to the base color is the yellow circle click on that image texture open and then just open up the texture again and then you can hold z and then drag them to material preview and you can see it's there go to shading 
drag this uh, like circle next to alpha, next to alpha again. Go back to layout. Click on this icon again, scroll down, change opaque to alpha clip. Now it's invisible. Change object mode to edit mode. Just duplicate with shift D and then double tap R and just drag it around and size it up and just make something like this. Now all I, um, all you do is just duplicate this and then just rotate it and just move this around until you get like a blob. You can select all of it, rotate. And again, you're just making a blob of these similar to the, the clouds. Now once you have this, click add mesh and then UV sphere. Now just size the sphere so it covers the entire thing. Now select plane the wrench icon, add modifier, and then click on data transfer. Now next to source, the eyedropper, click on that and click on the sphere. And we're gonna do something, we just, we're just we basically just doing what we did earlier. So now just click on the check mark next to face corner data or just check it and then down arrow next to it or the arrow next to it, custom normals, the triangle icon and enable auto smooth. Now you can click on the visibility next to sphere now you can see the lighting changed. Now if you click on the face orientation, you can see, just looking at it from one view, there's red here and I don't want that. So click object mode, change it to edit mode, and then just try to select the red ones. So just put your mouse over them and press L. And just try and select those red ones. Now that you have them selected, Press Alt and N and click on Flip. Now that should make the lighting better. Like over here earlier, it was pretty dark. Now it's not. So basically you just want the lighting to be lightish here and then darkish here. It's just light at the top and dark at the bottom. You can see over here, this one isn't really dark. So I'm going to fix that. In order to see what's blue and red, all I'm doing is click on the arrow right here and then face orientation. So I'm going to try and select this red leaf right here. There it is. Alt, N and Flip. Now if I go back, I can see now it's completely dark here and light is here, which is what we want. Now click file and just export this. Now again, you would go to asset manager and open up what we just downloaded. Now you're going to get something like this. So just click on the plus next to it. Look up surface appearance, click on surface appearance, properties, color map, and just open up the texture. When you open up the texture, you're going to get this and you get over here, change overlay to transparency. And there you go, select it and you can make double sided on or not. And you can also turn off cast shadow. I turn it off because there's already a shadow to it. So I don't need cast shadow. And when I click on double sided, I get like weird shadows like up here. There's dark and I don't want that. So I just disable it in there. I now have this just like we had in Blender. And I can use this. You can use this just as is, or you can just combo it with what we had here. And again, um, make sure the like these things are small and just duplicated on top of each other because that just looks better okay there we go very quickly just make something like that and then you just put these right next to them on the edges just very quickly i made that and that sort of gives you the bush effect that's how you get something like this do something much more polished with the bushes and the clouds and that's it comment subscribe like the video if this helped and bye